everyone, today's video is going to be all about Sarah Dust and you guys asked for it and here it is. So many of you guys asked me so many questions about Sarah Dust and books like which one is my favorite, which one is my least favorite, which one do I recommend you starting off with and tons and tons of other stuff. So since I've been getting tons of questions lately and over the past year I'd say I've been getting tons of questions about it, I thought of something really cool to do and I hope that you will participate as well. I love Sarah Dust and books, you guys know that. I've read all of them, legit, I've read all of them. Now some of them I remember very well, a lot of them not so much because it's been such a long time since I've read them. So with that, I thought this would be a pretty cool idea. Starting today is the Sarah Dessen Book Club, which I am pretty excited about. Each month we will read a Sarah Dessen book, which I will announce on my TBR every single month. I will announce the one for September today because I didn't do one on TBR, and we will read that book. I will be doing a video on that Sarah Dessen book by the end of the month or by sometime. We'll, we, I'll decide a definite date later down the road, perhaps for October, but for right now I'm planning the video should be up on that particular Sarah Dessen book by the last week of this month hopefully. I feel like this will be a good way for people who have not read Sarah Dessen at all and are asking about it a lot and this will be a good way for people that have like myself who have read Sarah Dessen in the past that have read all their books but their memory is somewhat not quite there when it comes to Sarah Dessen books because it's been so long. It's a good refresher. It's a good falling in love all over again with Sarah Dessen. I encourage you all to make videos each month. I'll leave it as a video response or tweet about it and Tumblr about it. I figured I would make the hashtag Sarah Dessen Book Club. That way we can talk about it direct direct. That way it's not filtering through yours, filtering through mine. It's like through that hashtag. So yeah, let's use Sarah Dessen Book Club for that. I can't wait to do all to do this with you. I think it's such a cool idea. I'm excited about it. I think it would really be really cool so we all reading the same book it's like a book club maybe we'll do this for other authors that have had that have wrote the like Sarah Dessen has written tons and tons of books if you have any suggestions for future authors after this Sarah Dessen book club is over please let me know first book in the book club in the Sarah Dessen book club will be the truth about forever so if you don't have this I bet your library does I bet you that or order on Amazon.com or Book Depository. I will leave the links down below if you want to order. But I honestly, this is an older Sarah Dessen book, so I'm thinking your library have it. So check it there. We will be reading this. I will have my video up, like I said, by the end, by the last week of September, sometime around that. I will let you guys know on Twitter. But let's not wait till then to talk about it. Feel free to use Twitter, Tumblr, all that kind of stuff with that hashtag Sarah Dessen Book Club, so we can discuss your progress. If you're liking it, if you're not liking it, character stuff. Let's just talk all about the. Truth Truth about forever. Let's, you know, let's hash it out. This is one of my favorite books. So I thought it'd be a good book to start with because I enjoy it so much and I think it's a really good starting off book. That's my personal opinion what I'm starting off with. After this, the picks will be random. I will randomly pick it. <laughs> but yeah, so let's talk about the truth about forever and stuff. I cannot wait to do this book club idea. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys will join me on that. So yeah, I'm excited to it. Now, what you're here for is to talk about Sarah Dessen. What this video is going to be about is I'm going to talk about briefly, very, very briefly, because there's so, so many books, about each one of what the Sarah Dessen book's about. Actually, I'll probably be reading the Goodreads description, talking if I like it or not, vice versa, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Sarah Dessen is a contemporary author. Contemporary books are books, in my opinion, that are like... That was real life situations. They're contemporary, like usually present time, usually about real life struggles and all that kind of stuff. Most of Sarah Desmond's book, I'm not saying 100% of them, are usually about girls trying to find themselves or struggling with a decision and all that kind of things. And a lot of them are, I've noticed, have, are set in like a beachy town or a very small town. Now, I'm not saying I'm 100% right on this at all. This is just what I think. So if you have like tons of Sarah Desmond knowledge, you are awesome. I wish I had that knowledge, but I'm just sharing with you what I know. Hopefully I will we'll do these in order of when they came out. They'll probably be a little bit jumbled. For that, I apologize. Let's just go with it. These are all the books Sarah Dessen has written, so yeah, let's talk about it. The first book is That Summer, and this is about a girl named Haven who is 15. Her life is changing drastically. Her f father is getting remarried, and her sister Ashley is planning a wedding of her own. And Haven wants things to go back to how they were, how the past was, she doesn't like the way things are now. But then one day an ex-boyfriend of her sister Ashley's coming to the picture and Haven learns that maybe the past is better left in the past and she learns more about things. This is probably my least favorite of all Sarah Dessen's books, sadly to say. It's very, very short if you can tell. I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't see much character development. But yeah. Crap. This son. This daggone son. See how it goes up and down? 
Maybe one day I'll purchase lights. Who knows? This book, That Summer, and this book, Someone Like You, both by Sarah Dyson, together were in the movie How to Deal with Mandy Moore in it, which, let's be honest, that wasn't that great of a movie. If you liked it, that's awesome. I just didn't like it that much. So yeah, that was That Summer. I didn't really like it that much. The next book, since we're going on to that, was Someone Like You. She has all, always followed suit in her best friend Scarlett, but when Scarlett learns that she is pregnant by her boyfriend that has been killed in a motorcycle accident, Scarlett relies on Haley to help her out. This book is all about friendship and how true friendships are. Um, I don't, honestly, I'm, ugh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't remember very much about this at all, so I apologize. I think I liked it. It wasn't one of my favorites, but I think I enjoyed it. Next book is Keeping the Moon. This is about a girl named Coley who expects the worst when she is spent to, um, when she is sent to spend the summer. Her eccentric Aunt Mira ends up in Colby, North Carolina, which I think are most places of Sarah Dessa's books. I think. I don't know. She lands a job at this cafe. Honestly, I don't remember this one much either. I know that it was not one of my favorites. It might be one of my least favorites. I can't remember. Hence why I'm starting the Sarah Dessa book club. To be reminded of these books. Dreamland. This is about a girl named Caitlin who starts to date this guy and she's like falling into like a semi-conscious dreamland. Hence the title where nothing is quite real. He's Rogers in the whole thing. He's different from anyone Caitlin's ever met. He's compelling and everything like that. Being with Roger becomes a larger problem than being without him, which is, yeah. Now, the one thing I remember about this book is that it's very sad. So, I mean, you can tell by the cover, the blue tones and how sad it's going to be. So, I definitely recommend this if you want to read on a rainy day or a sad day. If you're feeling sad, check this one out. This book is This Lullaby. This is about a girl named Remy. She does not believe in a relationship. She doesn't believe in love because her mom is on husband number five. And there's something about this guy named Dexter that she meets. He's very quirky and adorable and... Mr. Right for Remy at all. Remy just can't seem to shake him. Dexter's just around her. I do remember this book quite um, quite vividly. I remember this being one of my favorite books. I love this book. I love Dexter. Dexter's got to be one of my all-time favorite guy characters in Sarah Dessen's book, so I love this one. This book is our book club pick of the month, so yay! Listen up if you think you will like it. I'm directly going to read this strictly from the Goodreads. It's about a girl named Macy who has nothing to do because her boyfriend Jason is away at Brain Camp. Yes, Brain Camp. He's a, like a genius. Her days will be spent at her boring job at the library. Evenings will be filled with most vocabulary drills. In spare time with her mother, the two of them will share a silent grief over the loss of Macy's father. Sometimes unexpected things can happen, things such as the catering job at Wish with its fun-loving, chaotic crew. Sisters project renovating the neglected beach house, awakening long-buried memories. Things such as meeting Wes, a boy with a past, a taste for truth-telling, and the, the most amazing artistic talent Macy could ever meet. As Macy ventures out of her shell, she begins to wonder, is it really better to be safe than sorry? My favorites, I picked this one because I think it would be a really, really good start for everybody for Sarah Dessen. I could be wrong, but if I remember correctly, I really loved it. Lock and Key. There's a girl named Ruby. She's been sent to live with her sister because her mom has disappeared, I think, if I'm right. And she lives with her sisters, Cora, and her husband, Jamie. Her, and it's about a boy named Nate, and I think something about, I'm not too sure, I don't remember that much about this, but I do remember I really liked it. I think it's one of my favorites. I'm not too sure about it, but I, th I really think I liked it. What happened to Goodbye? This is about a girl named McLean and her parents, and her parents divorce. It's bitter, it was crazy. We all know how divorces are. They're awful. McLean is stuck with her dad, and he is a restaurant consultant. They've been on the move constantly. They move town to town to town. Each new place gives her a new chance to start over. It's like she becomes a new different person at a different town and finally she goes to this one town and says that her roots need to be settled down, that she can't just keep running away from her mom or the past and stuff like that. She needs to be rooted down. I remember a little bit about this one. I think I liked it. It wasn't one of my all-time favorites but I enjoyed it for the most part. Next book which is also a loan to a friend. I guess I have a lot of friends like Sarah Dessen. Nothing wrong with that. And that is A Long for the Ride. It's about a girl named Auden who has really really hard time sleeping at night. She ever since her parents divorced, another divorce now before you guys. She now has a chance to spend a carefree summer with her dad and his new family in the charming beach town where they live. I did like this one I remember. It wasn't one of my all time favorites but I like this one. Just listen and this is about a girl named Annabelle and last year Annabelle was the girl who had everything. She had the friends, the popular ones. This year she's the girl that not, that nobody wants anything to do with. She has no one to talk to, no one to sit at lunch with until she meets Owen Armstrong. Tall, dark, and music obsessed Owen. The reformed bad boy. Who doesn't love those? <laughs> Owen helps Annabelle maybe free, maybe face what happened the night that everyone decided to ditch her and hate her forever. And definitely one of my favorites. 
favorites. I love Just Listen. Our last one, the most recent release of Sarah Dyson, is The Moon and More. And this is about a girl named um, Emily who lives, again, on a small beach town. And she realizes that she is just doing, she's just doing what everyone likes almost pretty much. She works this job she doesn't like. She's going to this college that she it's okay it's just she doesn't face things honestly and then she has a perfect boyfriend and then they break up and she meets this new guy this new artsy mysterious guy I remember i like this one it wasn't my all-time favorites but i definitely need a four star for sure that is it for all these seridescent stuff for all the seridescent book talk hopefully that wasn't too long and i didn't talk too fast i apologize that is just how I talk, honestly. I can't wait to do the Sarah Dyson Book Club with you. I think this is a great idea for us to start collaborating together and start talking about the same books. And I always want to start a book club, so why not send our own author? And yeah, we'll do another author after Sarah Dyson was over. Pick up your copy of The Truth About Forever. Links will be down below. Don't worry if you can't get in by September. If a lot of people say they can't get in by September, I'll move this on to October. No problem at all. Let's talk about The Truth About Forever, and I can't wait to read it with you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Time can't hold those words that you spoke.